All right, so today we are going to be testing out the new Extremes The Awakening for LR Majin Vegeta on the Majin Buu Saga stage of Extreme Super Bad Road. Now, real quick, before we get into the gameplay, I want to go over his Extremes The Awakening details. So if you guys happen to already know what those are, then feel free to skip ahead about uh, 30 seconds or so. So starting with his leader skill, it's AGL type to keep plus 4. HP attack and defense plus 120%. His 12k super attack raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And then his 18k super uh, raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage to all enemies with a medium chance of stunning them. And then we have his passive, which is defense plus 150%, attack plus 180% when performing a super attack. E plus 2 and reduces damage received by 20% when there's an ally whose name includes Bulma um, on the team. And then Q plus 2 plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% when there is an ally whose name includes uh, Trunks Kid on the team. And Q plus 2 and chance of performing a critical hit plus 20% when the name of an ally who is attacking in the same turn or an enemy includes Goku. And then Q plus 12 and performs a critical hit when HP is 30% or less once only. And as far as his skill orbs go, we got a level five defense and also a level four crit slash level one attack. And uh, his links are not fully maxed out, but they're not bad, like halfway, you know? So that is the Extremes Awakened LR Majin Vegeta. And uh, without further ado, let's jump in here and uh, see what he can do. Now, we are on Extreme Super Battle Road, and he's starting with 188,866 defense, which is quite good. But, I'm still a little bit concerned about how he's going to hold up against, like, a tech super, for example. So, should I leave him in the middle is my question. Should we leave Majin Vegeta in that second slot with all those attacks? I'm gonna say yes, we do leave him, but I'm also going to use an Icarus <laughs> to be safe. So we'll use the Icarus. Let's uh, go for Goku. That's gonna be a nice 24k super, or close to it. And we actually can get an 18k for Majin Vegeta, which uh, gives us a chance to potentially stun both the Goku and the Majin Vegeta, the enemy Majin Vegeta, that is. So, here we go. First turn, first attack. We do have an Icarus active, which will help with the defense. Um, okay, this is good, actually. That was ideal. So, 4.16 million is the uh, attack stat for Majin Vegeta. And we do stun the enemy tech Majin Vegeta, which was super clutch because he would have probably hurt us quite a bit. So there you go. No supports, no attack items, of course. And 4. Point, what was that? 4.2? 4.2 for the 18 key? Pretty solid, man. That's actually pretty solid. Now I'm going to take this uh, tech Majin Vegeta out of rotation because we want to eventually get the two Majin Vegeta's, or rather the Tech Vegeta and the AGL Majin Vegeta together. And of course, this guy can transform into Majin Vegeta. And uh, let's leave. Actually, I'm going to put the uh, Vegeta there. Goten eventually will get pretty tanky, but he's not quite there yet. And then we can give a super to Goten. And then. I save these for the AGL Majin Vegeta or mm. you know what I'm, I'm gonna give this guy a super we should still be able to get a good amount of orbs for uh, Majin Vegeta the next time he comes around because I saw a lot of fizz orbs drop after okay so here we go the uh, tech Majin Vegeta is stunned so we don't have to worry about him and chances are we should be able to take out the uh, Goku actually So yeah, I think Goku's dead There's just one enemy left 
And that means next turn, we actually want to go for the 12 key super, because if you're only facing one enemy, then Maja Majida hits much harder with this single target 12 key super. Okay, so uh, let's see, 186,000 defense here. We can get a 17 key super. That's what you want. That's what you want. Now we're out of damage reduction from the Icarus item. So right now we have no item effects going. And uh, I'm thinking we just don't use an item because I want to see what his defense is like. Now if he supers us, we're screwed. He didn't super us though. He didn't super us. And our attack stat is 4. It was 4.6 I think. 4.6 slash 4.7 which for no items and like only getting one or two key or sorry not key one or two links from the Vegito I believe I, I'm actually not sure to how many links they share but not that many right they don't share that many links so for that situation that was a pretty good attack stat um of course his defense you know was not great there we took over 50k for a normal attack for both normal attacks to over 100k in total but you gotta keep in mind that this is extreme super battle road and uh, to be honest i'm not that upset about that 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 damage we just took you know i'm not too upset about over 50k per normal because i know that before the extreme z awakening he would have taken i don't know 200k maybe <laughs> like 150 to 200k per normal in that situation so that was not a bad showing actually that was not a bad showing Alright, so now we're going to pop the Icarus again, and uh, I think having Goten there makes more sense. It does. So Goten in the first slot, we're going to go for uh, Go Tanks with the Goten, and then obviously we'll switch it to Gohan with Trunks, and then we'll attack Piccolo. Oh crap, I should have saved those. That was a mistake. I did not mean to take those AGL orbs, but... What can you do? What's done is done. What's done is done. Um, I should have saved those though for, for the attack all, because Majima Majita could have had a chance to maybe stun all three of our enemies here. Um, it's a medium chance each time though, right? So like, it's not very likely that you'll actually stun the entire enemy field, but our chances of stunning one out of three at least is very high. All right, so we're taking a super here. Good tanking. That, that's some great, great tanking right there, and this shouldn't be that bad either. 12 damage. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, um, this could be rough. Now, Gohan did just super us, right? So, I don't think there's a... There's, like, not a good chance he's going to super us again, but it's possible, I guess, right? In theory, he could super us again if you want it to be a douche. But uh, I'm going to say he doesn't super us. I'm going to leave Tech Vegeta, Majin Vegeta, sorry, not Majin Vegeta, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta in the first slot so that we can get all these Fizz Orbs for my Majin Vegeta. And in case he additionals, I'll target the Gotenks. That's going to be an attack all 18 key super. And uh, let's at least get 12 key for the Vegito. Oof. 40k that's rough that is wow i did not see three attacks i thought it was two in the first slot yeah i thought it was two. Oh, that kind of hurts okay close to five mil for the attack all super here that's a crit and we stunned go tanks i thought i thought he actually died I was convinced Gotenks was dead, but no, he, he survived that super, but we did some really good damage there, guys. Some really good damage. Gotenks is stunned. We just have to worry about the uh, Gohan, and I'm going to save my items, actually. I'm going to just put Trunks there, and I think we should be fine. Uh, maybe, 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 actually. I'm not 100% sure if Tech Gohan at the end could take a super. Hmm. Okay, just to be safe on this turn, let's actually pop a Princess Snake. 
there's uh there's no point in dying you know this this early actually it's not even that early it's the second stage already so yeah, there's no point in dying at this point let's just be safe um but that was a great super from Majin Vegeta man that was a great super with the with the crits too he was doing some pretty insane damage I would say you know, for an attack all super, like, that attack all hits really, really hard. It hits really, really hard. Okay, so now, we are facing Vegito, who is a single target, so we're not really going to get to see that attack all. But this is actually not necessarily a bad thing, because I want to see his 12 key super more. So, uh, let's give a super to the Vegeta here. Let's use our Whis, because we know this this Vegito hits very, very hard. And we're just going to go for the normal 12 key super. Luckily, we can get a super off with the Vegito as well. And I'm actually very worried about Vegito at the end there. Hopefully, we don't get super there. Okay, 5.2. 5.2 and we got the stun and we got the additional <gasps> oh my god that's a crazy turn and the, 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 the double stun not that we needed it but it's just it's nice it's nice to have you know it's good to see that he's able to stun back to back like that with a 30 percent stun chance and then this turn we're chilling right because uh we aren't expecting any attacks now on jp uh there would be actually no attacks showing here because it can be kind of confusing, right? The fact that he's stunned, but you can see, still see like all these attacks around your units. On JP though, they actually remove that, right? Where like there's the attack break thing. So if an enemy is stunned, then their attacks also get like destroyed so that there's no attacks showing. So you don't make a mistake and accidentally use an extra item when you didn't have to, which is something I've done multiple times, I gotta be honest. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, uh, yeah, 186,000 defense is around what we've been seeing today. We did see a little bit higher when we had the, uh, the Fizz Go... No, no, the Fizz Trunks on rotation because of the links. But, yeah, 186k for a Rainbowed Majin Majita with, keep in mind, a level 5 defense skill orb. Um, as I said, it's not bad. It's really not bad. But... It could be better. It could be better. Mainly because he doesn't raise any defense on his super attack. So not breaking 200,000 these days. Um, could still get you in some trouble, I would say. On harder events like the Legendary Goku events, Legendary Vegeta event, GT. Oh, yo, this guy is stunning like crazy. This guy is stunning like mad. Yo, he is... <laughs> what a beast. I mean... <laughs> I think some people just think of him as like a solely attack all option, right? Like they just think of him as like, you know, super, whoa. Well, I guess this is the first time I'm using a Dokkan attack on uh, like, like since we got the Virgin Z update. So yeah, I've been getting a lot of tutorials recently. I guess it makes sense though, because they're assuming that a lot of new players are playing the game now. Okay, so let me just grab this. There we go. We might actually finish off Vegito this turn. I hope not. But with the Dokkan attack and then the Goten super. It's not looking so good for Vegito here. Uh, yeah, no, he's definitely dead. He, he's, he's definitely dead. Well, there you go, guys. Um, I think you've still seen enough from the Majin Vegeta. From those couple of supers we've, we've, we've seen from him that... uh you know to get a good feel for what the extremes the awakening is like and i gotta say man it really exceeded my expectations it, it it did exceed my expectations like i knew he was gonna hit hard but i thought the 12 key super would actually take a pretty big hit in terms of damage because of the multiplier right it's mega colossal for the 12 key and then colossal for the 18 key but the 18 key hits much harder than I was expecting. And if I gave this guy a level five attack instead of level five defense, then he would have hit even harder, right? We probably would have broken close to six mil, at least today. 
And if we were on an easier event, I would have brought some uh, support units to get him some more attack, but since it was extreme super bad road, I didn't want to take the risk and like possibly just die um, at some point in the showcase. So no supports today, but the numbers nonetheless were were really good. And his defense, you know what, even though it, it could be better, it, it's good enough in my opinion. It, it's good enough. I've seen a lot of criticism for his defense, and I admit I don't think he's going to hold up great on the hardest events in the game. But we just did Extreme Super Battle Road, and you know, if you pop an item with him, just don't put him in front of like tech attacks, and he'll be okay. He'll be okay. Just hide him from like any enemies that are tech type. And uh, his stuns and his damage will carry you, right? Like, he's great for Super Battle Road. Maybe maybe not as good as Broly, but, I mean, at least close. At least close, I would say. So, there you go, guys. I'm a big fan of this Extreme Z Awakening. I don't really understand a lot of the criticism. Like, I, I know where it's coming from, but I don't necessarily agree with some of the hate that this EZA has been getting. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it after watching this video. And uh, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.